God. I told you guys I would be back. So Matthew 6.33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and then everything else will be added unto you. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let me go ahead and tell you what thus said the Lord. God said, Deanna, everybody, when you ask somebody something, what do you do? I'm a doctor. I'm a lawyer. I'm a, I'm a famous singer. I'm, I, 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 I'm in Hollywood. I, I'm Y'all understand. I'm going to break it down real slow. He says that they are conforming to this world and transforming to this world. When people ask you what you do, I, I have I, I'm a I have a doctorate. I have this and, and hold on, ain't nobody hating. I'm I'm trying I'm, I'm bear with me because I'm really trying to get to you. God saying that we have conformed to this world when we should be a Christian. The first thing when somebody asks, you, I'm a servant of the living God. I'm a Christian. Are you more of your job or what you say or what you do? They're more of a Christian, God says, because he says, that's what, that's what's happening. That's why the church ain't got no power. We're so busy being this and being that, standing, standing up for who God called us to be. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm going here. And I have to be transparent on purpose. Um, when I was in Los Angeles, and I've said this story before, but you're going to understand why I'm saying it again. i never forget, um, some people had set me up with an A&R. If you don't know what A&Rs do, what they do is they scout out people for labels. And i never forget, because y'all know I sing gospel, right? And so, point blank in the story, they had set me up one Saturday. I was, you know, some of Stevie's wondrous people. So, you, And to be honest with you, I already know they was going to sign me because they didn't want to set it up. You understand what I'm saying? Honey, I end up oversleeping. No, you don't hear me. Like, I had went to bed early. It didn't make no sense. And let me tell you something about these people. Once you do something, there is no second chance because they feel like you didn't take it um, real. You know, you, you weren't serious. And God knows I was serious. I remember I cried that whole afternoon. I said, God, you don't want me to be famous. God, you don't want me to do this. And I cried. I was so mad at God. Let, let's, let's go ahead and fast forward. God was saving me. God was saving me from what I thought I wanted. Because at that time, the where I was in my mental state, in my Christian state, just to be honest, I'd have conformed. I'd have been throwing up them sixes and doing all what they're doing. I'm just being honest with you because I wanted it bad. You know, and, and, and oh, I'm going to walk this thing out. And the only reason people conform is because all your life, and I'm, I'm going to use me. When I was young, I did so much wrong and this and that to where it was like, I got to prove myself. I got to prove that I'm worthy. That I'm somebody. Don't act like y'all don't know because I come from a little poverty stricken town where they do what they do to get what they get. Don't act like y'all don't know what I'm saying. So everybody wants to prove themselves. And how they prove it is move away from the little town, go and, and do something big. And, and then when you come in town, you don't act like y'all don't know. Y'all drive it. Y'all know what I'm saying? Because I'm sure people do the same thing everywhere. Like, like you've made it. I, I've made it. I've made, even have a persona about you. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not hating, hey, you, whatever. I get it. And I was like, so so now that I'm older and I understand, I said, God, you were saving me all those times. I, I was told no. Because there was three major things that happened in my life. Like I told you, y'all know I write. I, I, went, I, uh, I had a team talk show. And I presented it to Oprah them. Now, I thought it was funny. I'm not saying it was the same script. But two weeks later, Kiki, um, the little girl, Kiki, I forgot her last name. But anyway, all I know is that she had a talk show. The same thing that I had. Y'all know what I'm saying. I'm just being real. I don't know if it was the same one, but, but I was going to do it on a Christian tip. They didn't want to have that. So it was three things that happened that actually God just closed the door. And I was like, well, I'm just trying to make it. But I realized I've been just trying to make it. I wanted to make it so I could let everybody else know I've arrived. I am somebody. I'm going somewhere. Because you see, when you live in life and you go through what you go through, then you don't love yourself. You don't have you don't have that self-esteem. You don't have that, that positivity. Don't act like y'all don't know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. But the more I got closer to God, I realized, God, you are all I need. It's whenever you all I ever needed. Oh, I'm going somewhere. I hope this helping somebody. Because you spend your whole life trying to prove to people that don't really care. Mm -hmm. And talk about you anyway, whether good, bad, happy, sad, money, no money. No, I like y'all don't know what I'm saying because I'm real for this and I do this for real. Hallelujah. So I said, God, you was with me the whole time. And I am somebody. 
in your eyes. You see, once you understand who God is, then you understand who you are because now you see yourself as God sees you, not as the world. Because the world, they fickle anyway. One minute they love you, next minute they don't. Don't act like y'all don't know R. Kelly, everybody else I could name. Oh, they knew what that man, y'all know what I'm saying. The world, they rock with you one minute, next minute they don't. And hold on, Christians starting to do the same too. So you get caught up in that, guess what? Then you're always trying to prove yourself. But once you understand who you are through Christ, praise God, hallelujah. And that's what I'm saying tonight. Don't get, don't get fooled with this world. Uh, putting a title and even an apostle. I, I don't trip. I don't trip. I'm still a servant. I don't care. I used to trip when people say, Deanna, I ain't gonna lie. I still think you're supposed to respect the office, but I am Deanna. I ain't tripping. Whatever, you know. God is telling me to tell you guys, the Lord, remember who you are first in Christ. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Are you ministering the way you used to minister? Are you just getting that bag? Are you just want that attention? Are you just want them thousand followers? Y'all notice I never say, um, I do say share and tag, but I don't say send up them hearts. Send up the, I could care less if you send up one heart or two. I could care less. I ain't trying to get no hearts. I'm trying to get to your spirit. You care about no hearts? Hallelujah. It's a mind thing. It's a mindset. But what is your greatest desire? Is it to please God or is it to please the world? Because I'll be honest with you, you got people pleasing the world. And how you know what spirit are you operating in? That's what I'm really saying. Because whatever your spirit you operating in, that's what you transferring to everybody. And God going to get you if it's not of God. And most people, most Christians these days, you are not. You are not who you say you are. Because your spirit ain't right. Hallelujah. Because but let me tell you something. I got to go here. If demons and witches and warlocks is not after you, then you don't have no authentic anointing. Stop that. You playing. You playing. You playing. Get mad if you want to. You playing. Because my Bible and what I read and know, they're always coming after me. Always. I don't even have to be doing it. I can just be walking. And then, and you know you know me. I, I'm looking to, what, 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 what are we doing? <laughs> I stay ready. I have to. I have to. Because it's that real. I, I was reading Acts today. It's that real. The disciples, people came after them, left them. Even when Paul got converted. And they knew it was Jesus. We're going to kill him. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're going to kill him. Acts chapter 9. We're going to kill him. So as soon as they know you converted, they're coming out. If they ain't coming after you, it, 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 and that's, that's why I, 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 I don't understand these people that live this beautiful little life for God. And, you know, you have everything and everything's perfect. And look, I say perfect, perfect, <laughs> perfect to us. Because a real Christian that walks it, talks it, lives it, you stay in warfare. And if you stay in warfare, you have to fast, you have to pray. You're going to have to stay in isolation sometime. You can't go where you want to go. It's not about fun. Because truth be told, everything that's in you, it's not even for you. It's for the people of God. Hallelujah. We don't, we're, we don't get to be selfish. We don't get to be, you know, like on a pedestal. You, are, you become a servant. That's why Jesus did it first. When he was washing those feet, he was showing us. I'm the son of God, but yet I became a servant. I humbled myself into death. Hallelujah. So all this other stuff that we have added to it, that's why people are not staying saved. That's why they're not staying saved, thus said the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, I, I know they don't like this. I'm, they don't know. There is that real teaching. Hallelujah. So I'm going to leave you with this question. Are you an authentic Christian? Or are you just playing the role and you're fraudulent? Hallelujah. Is there enough evidence against you? Because new world ought to come in anyway. Mark of the beast already here. Yeah, I've been telling y'all that five, six years, seven, eight, whatever. Excuse me. Is there enough evidence to convict you for real? Or are you borderline? <laughs> I'm just being real. Praise God. Praise God. When people ask, Clarice, what you said, when people ask, what do you do? How do you answer? You said that I am a servant of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And whatever he tells me to do, i.e., I walk this thing and I live before you guys on purpose. It was hard to move back here. Don't ask me why. Y'all already know. Louisiana is it's a whole thing. Witchville, Warlockville, Witchcraftville, all kind of vills. Y'all know what I'm saying. 
But whatever God tells me to do, I just have to shift. Because truth be told, it's getting hot in here. Every state, every state, every city. I'm, I'm going to drop some nuggets. Y'all don't notice that every city, every state, they're doing construction. Y'all want to know why? Well, I'm going to drop it on y'all tonight. Checkpoints. 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 But you see, I, I got to do that. I got to do that in another video. I'm coming back and tell y'all, they didn't really drop that martial law. And if you ain't strong now, how you going to be strong then when they do that? Are you going to take that chip? <laughs> All right. Play crazy if you want. This stuff coming. This stuff here. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I got to say something. And I'm going to tell you why. Because something just hit my spirit. I've said this twice. And it's my third time saying it while you're on here. And you're going to catch it because I am talking to you. Specifically you. If I was y'all, repent. Because you have really done some things that's not of God. You know who you are. You need to repent. Because I, I see something happening to you. You know who you are. You know who you are. I'm telling you, this is the third time. Because I was going to close out. Y'all y'all saw that. And you know who you are. You ain't, And don't be trying to ask, act all slick in the comments talking about you talking about me. You know I'm talking about you. Don't play crazy. Because this is the third time God has made me tell you, repent. Repent. Stop playing with God. Stop playing with his people. Stop. Because some of you, I'm just going to go here. You so full of demons, you don't even know what you're doing. But nevertheless, God still has to do what he has to do. Hallelujah. Remember Samson? Samson was a man of God. And he kept playing with Delilah. And God had told him, all right, Samson, give him some warnings. He allowed the Philistines to guard out their eyes. As a matter of fact, he became, he gave them to reprobate mind because what kind of person, if she is she asking you what's your strength, and every time you tell her she tries to bind you, who keeps going back to that? So right then and there, that lets me know he had a reprobate mind to where he didn't even know what he was doing. Oh, come on, somebody, I'm preaching. I, I'm uh, Y'all ain't never heard it like that before. He had a reprobate mind at that point. That's why I always talk about Samson because I see people in a reprobate mind. What well, God is say, that's what you want? Let me let you have it, and it's going to destroy you. Because who will go to somebody and, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell you my strength so they can bound me up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and then he was hurt because even at the end, he said, God, let me die with them. Let me kill more than I ever killed, but let me die with them. You know why he wanted to die? Because his spirit was broken. Because he knew that he had, he had hurt God and hurt himself because he was better than that. I, I'm saying something. Some of you are better than what you're doing. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And let me tell you how he do it. He don't send people far off. He send your circle. Oh, I've, been, I've been saying this for you. He see your circle. And that's why I watch everybody in my circle. And when you start moving funny, I leave you alone. Say what you want to say. <laughs> I'm the right one. When you start moving funny, I'm watching you. I'm like, okay, that, that ain't God. I'm not going to be Samson. I'm not going to keep playing with Delilah because I know what Delilah trying to do me. Hallelujah. This stuff real. Y'all better play with Delilah. I don't know who that's for. Now, that's something else for somebody else. Stop playing with Delilah. Delilah. She was alive from the gate. Hallelujah. Y'all be playing with these Delilahs as if God won't give you over to a reprobate mind. Be careful, said the Lord. Be mindful. I don't know if y'all understand. God killed some of his own prophets. Allowed them to be killed. Because God don't do nothing bad. But God will allow it. God allowed some of his own people to die. This is a rough warning for, for a lot of you on here. Stop playing with God and stop playing with God's people. Hallelujah. He says, better you have a milestone tied on your neck in the bottom of a sea. That's deep. I don't know about you. That's deep. Because sooner or later, he going to get you. Oh, I'm a witness. Sooner, <laughs> who can stop God? No one, says the Lord. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. I'm coming back. I got one more. Mm-hmm.